bien. Hora de dormir. Pero, ma. Pero nada. Come on, get to bed. I'm just waiting for Papa to get home. But you know Papa only gets home past midnight. Mama, why does Papa get home so late? Because he's working. But Papa is always working. He's never home. Your father is just trying to provide for you. And this is the best way he knows how. Just because he's never home does not mean he does not love you. He's a good father. I know he is. I hope to be just like him one day. Good night, Cesar. Te amo. Good night, Mama. Te amo. Son, I told you you don't have to wait up for me. Oh, it's okay, Papa. Should I make you some tea? Thank you, Cesar. So, what did you do today at work, Papa? I... I worked. And what did you do today at school? I... I schooled. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I just need to rest. Now you go off to bed. Papa died when I was 10. He was a loving father. An excellent provider, but I barely knew him because all he did was work to provide for our family.
previous lessons we proved false the truths of the Bible, where we refuted the virginity of Mary. Class, today we are going to be taking a look at something called the Trinity. What is the Trinity? There are many conflicting ideas as to what the Trinity is. The most popular one that exists is there exists God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Yet, they are not three, but one God. Each co-equal, co-eternal, not having the beginning, nor an end. Now, in order for us to find out whether the Trinity is true or not, we have to answer two questions. First question, can God be tempted? According to the Bible, God cannot be tempted because God cannot sin. The very idea of God sinning is blasphemy. God can do no unrighteousness. Not even the devil himself can make God sin. But if Christ was God, the same would apply to him. God cannot be tempted, but Jesus was. The second question we have to look at is, is it possible for God to die? According to the Bible in Habakkuk 1 verse 12, it is not. Oh Lord, are you not from everlasting? My God, my Holy One, you will not die. Therefore, the Bible makes it clear that God is immortal. Therefore, Jesus is not God. Plus, the Bible is inaccurate, unreliable, and contradicts itself. How do I know this? I've not only read this book, but I have studied it. And it's not only wrong, but unimportant. Sir, but if it's no important, then why do we speak about it so many times? <laughs> It's true. Because I don't want you to believe it's lies. The Bible will stop you from thinking logically. I don't want you to rape you of your free will and determinism. For homework, I want you to research the cruelty of the Christian God. Now he has no concern for the loss of human life. Now the violence of God towards humanity has caused humans to become more violent. I don't understand why he of all people has read and studied the whole Bible. He's an atheist. That doesn't make sense. I haven't even read the whole Bible. Wait a minute. Why haven't I read? Maybe if I did, I could prove what he believes is wrong. Mama! Si, Cesar! Donde está tu Biblia? Mira en mi armario! ¿Qué cuero con eso? Puedo leerlo. Por supuesto.
Where's the pen? It's in my back and my feet. See you later. Don't be late for school. Oh. This is crazy. Just, just do it. All right. Lord, I want to have an appointment with you in the living room of my house. 10.30. Be there. Jesus, I don't know you, I don't know who you are, but if you are the God of the Bible, then I'm going to ask you to do something for me, change me, right now. No, I don't care if he is God. 
He has answered so many unworthy people in the Bible. If you answer them, he can answer me too. Mother, you need to kill me. You know my mother is a big problem. Senor. Senorita. You want to go? Go, 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 This is what you give. Then I will meet with you here every day. I will seek you. That night I encountered God. I did not accept a religion. I accepted a person. From that moment I knew I had to preach the gospel. God saved me so that I could save others. He loves me so that I can love others. Good morning, Mother. Good morning, Cesar. You happy this morning? It's a beautiful day after all. Are you in love? Did you meet a girl? No, I did not meet anyone. But uh, I am in love. With who? With Jesus. Oh, well, it's about time. de música en la buena tarde acabamos el programa y acabamos la semanita estamos de viernes eh, a las 8 de la tarde cerramos pero antes tenemos que ah can't wait to for after school work see me too homes yeah check out the mama chiquita you know what i'm saying yeah. see? Ah. Senorita, right there by the corner, there, no? Ah, Pepe. Yeah. Mm, so what are you doing at the school? I don't know, Holmes. Yeah, Holmes. Ooh, Hola, Holmes. muchachos! Hola, Cesar. How are you doing, Holmes? I'm doing good. Uh, I, was, I was wondering, did you guys read the Bible? No, nah, Holmes. Why would you want to read the Bible? Mr. Garcia read it, read it to us. You, you don't understand. I read it. It will change your life. I don't want to change, Holmes. I like who I am. I, I also thought so. But I realized when I was reading it that Jesus loves us. He loves me. He loves you too. He doesn't just want to rule over us. He wants to have a relationship with us. He wants to save you. He wants to change you. All you need to do is give your life to him.
You have been smoking, haven't you? No, I, I haven't been smoking anything. <laughs> now, Holmes, you've been smoking drugs. Now you want us to be an apostle of Christ. When did you start? I'm not on drugs. I'm being serious. Jesus changed my life. Shh, don't say it so loud. You're going to embarrass us. I've been working so hard this year to keep it cool. Yeah, Holmes. What's, what's the point of being cool if you end up in hell? What we're living for is so stupid. We were created for more than this. Sessa, stop, man. You're freaking me out. Yeah, what happened to you, man? You have changed. I have changed because of Jesus. And so can you. That's enough, Sessa. We never wanted you to change. We like who you were before. So now you have to choose. What do you mean? It's either us or Jesus, Holmes. Yeah, it's either us or Jesus. So what's it going to be, Holmes? Muchachos, don't do this. You did this to yourself, Cesar. Why did you go and have to read the book that Mr. Garcia warned us about? Um, guys, I'm sorry. I can't choose you over Jesus. Fine, Holmes. Let's get out of here. I thought you were better than this. I thought you were better than this, man. Lord, please soften their hearts so that they may also believe in the truth. Mother. Hola, Cesar. See you have gone to the doctor today. Yes, yes, I was so sick. Mother, my divine father said that you are not sick, that you are healed. Because he has carried our sickness and pain in his body so that we can be healed. Can I pray for you? Yes, you may. Thank you, Cesar. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you have taken our sickness and pain in your body so that we can be made whole. I pray that you would touch my mother right now that you would heal her of her affliction. I trust that you have healed her. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Cesar. Now let's get some supper on. Let's go. Mama, I was thinking that we could go to church this Sunday. But I thought you said you hated churches after Papa's funeral. And if God really loved us, he wouldn't have allowed Papa to pass away. I know. I was a fool. I spoke uh, foolishly out of grief. I know that my God would never take away my Papa. You know what? There was a lady that came to my work the other day. She was handing out pamphlets from her church. Let me see if I still have it. There you go. Gracias. Yes, Iglesia. Hello, guys. I want to invite you to come to my church. This weekend.
Buenos dias, amigos. Hola. I would like to invite you to come to my church this weekend. Why? Well, because uh, Jesus loves you and he wants to, to save you. He wants to bless you. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. My friend, Jesus wants to heal you. No. God can't even heal leprosy. Don't say that. The Bible says that if we pray for the sick, they will be healed. The doctors have tried. What makes God different? God created those doctors. He knows everything. He made you without leprosy. Therefore, He is able to remove it from you. No, He cannot. No one can help me. Not even God. How can you say such a thing? Jesus himself carried our illnesses when he was crucified at the cross at Calvary. That's nothing more than a fairy tale. This is reality, man. Just get used to it. God created reality. He can do anything, even if it is impossible. Anything is possible with God. All you need to do is believe. I don't believe, all right? Why don't you just get out of here? Just give God a chance. What's the worst that can happen? He wants to heal you. He can heal you. No one can cure my disease. No man can heal it. But God can. No. No, he can't. What makes you think that God can heal you? Because, look at me. I'm still a mess. Just because he hasn't done it yet, doesn't mean he can do it. No. But that does mean that He's a cruel God. God is not cruel. Then, why has He let me suffer this long? We can't question God. All we need to do is to have faith. No, I have no faith. I don't believe He can heal me. That is why God hasn't healed you. He can only do what you believe He can do. No, don't blame me. It's not my fault that God hasn't chosen to heal me. It's all because he can't do it. Lord, this man has a heart harder than fell. Please, soften his heart. If what you're saying is real, and God has sent you as his servant to heal people, pray for me, heal me. I command you, demonic spirit of leprosy. I command you and bind you in the name of Jesus to let go of this man's body. I thank you that this man will experience your healing power right now. Forgive me. Forgive me. I'm sorry for having a hard heart. I'm sorry for speaking to you the way I did. I'm sorry. Tell me, what just happened to you? Felt the power of God touch me. I felt the leprosy leave my body. I know I am here. I want to tell you that there is leprosy worse than one of these men. The leprosy of sin. Everybody is trapped in sin. But today, you can be free. You can be free if you accept Jesus into your heart. Spiritual leprosy is far worse than physical leprosy. But Jesus is able to heal both. 
he can heal anything and he wants to heal you. You have two choices. Sida, you reject him or you accept him. So what you gonna do? Is there anyone who wants to accept him? I was wondering if there is any special woman in your life. Of, of course there is. I've got you. No, I'm talking about someone to marry. No, Mama, I, I don't have anyone. There are lots of lovely girls in the church. Why don't you get to know them? Mama, no. Come on, what about Natalia? Hola, mi nombre es Natalia. Mm. Ok, maybe Valentina. Se enfrenta. Ponga su confianza en Dios y la ayudará a través de su tormenta. No, she looks like she rather that than being in church. Sofía es muy nice. Amei. Sing rays, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Uh, Mama, I don't mean to say this disrespectfully, but uh, they are all ugly. <laughs> she says I don't um, mean it like that. I just believe that God has someone better for me. All right, Mr. Piki, just make sure I have some grandkids before I die. Por favor, vela Jeremias 29, verso 11. Se lo que estoy haciendo, tengo todo planeando, fuera de los planes para cuidar de usted, no abandona. Plan espera, darle el futuro que usted espera. Se lo que estoy haciendo. Está bien? Sí, I'm waiting for my mother. Is it your your first time here? See? Did you did you enjoy the service? It was very nice. I'm Cesar. I'm there, yeah? Nice to meet you, Bella. Mother! You might be getting those grandkids sooner than you think. I met someone. Oh, you did? What? at uh, a church after the service. Her name is Bear. We didn't talk much, but um, I think she's the one.
Okay, Lord, but don't take too long. sit with us. A lot of people feel a little uncomfortable around him, so I like to sit with him. Come sit here. Remember me? Um, sorry, I, I don't remember you. Who are you? I was a leper. You were a leper? Yes, you prayed for me about nine months ago. Remember? Oh, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Oh, you know, on that day, the Lord healed me. I have some scars on my hand, but... I was healed from all my afflictions. That day, the Lord completely healed me. Thank you. Hey, Mateo, where have you been? I've been looking for you all over this place. Wait a minute. It's him. Hola! Hey. You changed our lives. What made you come to us? Well, when I saw you, I saw four guys who desperately need Jesus, just as much as I do. And I couldn't help myself but give him to you. Mateo gave me such a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making yourself vulnerable, just so that we could believe. It was an honor. Why is the house being invaded by women? I decided to invite a few women from the church. I thought it would be nice to get to know one another. Oh. By the way, there's a girl sitting outside. Please escort her to the lounge while I take these biscuits. Okay. Excuse me. My mother asked me to... Did you tell her? 
Isso aqui é uma habilidade peculiar. Mostra-me da tua amiga. Lord, I don't know if she's from you or a temptation from the devil, but if it's a temptation from the devil, the devil will not have his way. I command you, devil, in the name of Jesus, to leave me, to get behind me. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You will not have your way. Jesus. What in the world happened today with their girl? I took one look at her and I didn't know what to do with myself. She's the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my whole life. She paralyzed me. I couldn't, I couldn't move. I couldn't speak. I thought she was a temptation from the devil. So I started throwing her with with paper balls. <laughs> the only thing that came to mind was to run and pray. So I did. And the devil come out of you? <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, God told me that she's my wife. Well, you better go and sweep her off her feet. Her name is Claudia, by the way. Do you know where she stays? No. But I'll find out for you. Hello, I am Cesar. Uh, we met the other night. I want to apologize for my bad behavior. Oh, um, I also wanted to allow you to get me back for firing at you when you are unarmed. Muchas gracias. They are beautiful. My pleasure. I hope to see you soon, Claude. You will. On Sunday at church. I uh, I look forward to it. Adios. Adios. But it looks like your apology went well. Mama, when God is on your side, everything goes well. Well, thank goodness for God. I, Cesar, take thee, Claudia. I, Claudia, take thee, Cesar. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded husband. To have. And to hold. From this day forward. For better. For worse. For richer. For poor. For sickness. And in life. To love. To cherish. To death to us part. According to God's. To God's holy. Holy. holy
Father, I love you. I mean, with all my heart, I love you. I'm willing to be patient with you, even when you frustrate me. I'll be kind when you're rude. I won't demand my own way. I will not keep any record of wrongs. I will endure through all circumstances and hope for the best. Every day, I will ask God to show me how to love you like how He loves you. I now know why God wanted me to marry you. Por qué? You make me want to be more like Jesus. This love upon which we have built our home, the thing that attracted me most to you, my beloved, was the rock-like firmness you have possessed from the moment we met. Your firmness is the result of a strong relationship with God. There are no cracks in it, and neither winds nor storms have succeeded in moving you because you are rooted and grounded in the Word of God. Firmness that came to my life as a gift from God to support my life. Marrying you was the start of building the home that would shelter our future generation. Feminists upon which we decide to build our towers that became towers of silver, purified by the word of God. Although we both know who they are, it is worth mentioning them. Mr. Respect and Mrs. Honor, Mr. Romantic and Mrs. Enchanting, Mr. Kindness and Mrs. Prudence, Mr. Generosity and Mrs. Temperance, Mr. Joy, and Mrs. Happiness, and Mr. Diligence, and Mrs. Perseverance. We both decided the most important people in our lives should be part of our family. Our Father, who is the most loving being in the universe, and has guided us in building up this tower. Our best friend, who has redeemed the tower's debt by paying the highest price and did it for love. And how can we forget? the sweet and tender comforter who always encourages us 
strengthens us, guides us and gives us hope. Thank you to you we have been able to build a palace that will last for generations. Your husband who loves you, Cesar. Hello, beautiful. It was alright. Uh, how was the day? It was okay. Claudia, I need to talk to you about something. Okay. I don't want to act on something unless we agree on it. I believe that God is calling us to start a church. What do you think? Okay. Okay? Yes, well, if God is calling us to start a church, then we better get started. So what's the plan? I'll be right back. Well, uh, unfortunately, we don't have money to buy our own building. But I've been doing some research and we can start our own church right in our home. Start a church in our home? See, si, but before you go crazy, uh, there's this pastor in South Korea. He's Dr. Dr. Cho. He leads the largest church in the world. Do you want to know how he did it? Yes. By 1964, he had a church of 3,000 people. But he suffered a collapse in 1965 because of overworking. He realized that the work of uh, Leading a large congregation was too much for one person, so he divided his church into two cells. And he would train up leaders to lead each cell every week. Cell leaders were encouraged to invite non-Christian members to learn about Christianity. And uh, the leader was also required to train up an assistant, so that when the group can grow, that he can take off of the old people with him. And by 1968, the, the church numbered 8,000 people. So are we starting a church or are we starting a cell? We are starting a church by starting a cell. Okay. Suppose God were to ask you, why should I let you into heaven? What would your answer be? This is important to know because you could be sincerely and honestly sure about your salvation but at the same time be sincerely and honestly going to hell because of your motive is wrong. What is the Bible? The word Bible comes from the Greek word Biblio or Biblion, which means book. Jesus is the central character. The Old Testament speaks of the coming of the Messiah. And the New Testament speaks of Jesus and him coming to die for our sin. We are set free by the power of the cross. On the cross, a divine exchange took place. Jesus was able to take our curses so that we can be set free. The cross sets us free from sin, demonic bondage, ruin, and the future. Gracias tanto para viene. Gracias por te mene. It was wonderful. Thank you for coming, Manuel. No problem. Is it all right if I can bring my brother here next week? He's going through a rough patch. That's not a problem. The more, the better. Okay. Adios. Adios. Hablaste tan porfidamente. Bien hecho, mijo. Gracias, mamá. Adios. Adios. Cesar, how was work? Cesar? I was retrenched. 
At, at which job? The bank. It's okay, you still have the job at the grocery store. See, Claudia, but you barely get any money from the grocery store. Plus, we haven't paid for the rent, for the water, or for the lights. And you've just fallen pregnant. I don't know what you're going to do. I suppose now is not the best time to tell you we have no food in the fridge. It's okay, Cesar. I'll, I'll make a plan. I'll ask my mother if I can get food for tonight. And we pray every day. God knows what we're going through. Sorry. I'm sorry. Don't apologize, Cesar. I know how hard you work. This is not your fault. We'll get through this. I promise to stay with you no matter what. For richer or for poorer. Te amo. What is up with you, God? Am I not your servant? What type of testimony is my life giving? Did you go? Because truly, I say to you, I will bless you in such a way that you yourself will be amazed. But you come and say to me, enough. I'm resigning. You are? I need to focus all my energy in serving God. He will take care of everything we need. So what are you going to do now? I need to fully focus on the ministry. Okay. God made laws to maintain perfect order in the universe. Example of this law is the law of gravity. Without gravity, there would be chaos. A law means something that you cannot change. It doesn't matter what you think, it doesn't matter what you believe. If you ignore the law of gravity and decide to jump off a building and think nothing is going to happen to you, think again. Because you will carry the consequence of your beliefs in the same way. God has made spiritual laws to govern the earth. He has set spiritual laws in order to help us and to direct us towards Himself. And if you choose not to obey these laws, you will have to carry the consequence of your choices. An eternity apart from God in hell. No, solo cuera hablo con César. All right, César, Manuel está aquí para verte. Manuel, César. Yes, Manuel. I started reading my Bible, Holmes, and I realized that what we are doing is very wrong, Holmes, and we need to repent. Um. What is it exactly that we are doing wrong? We are not paying our tithes, and you and Cloudy need our tithes. So I'm sorry. Here's my tithe. Claudia! 
I told you Gonto was going to take care of us. Gracias, Cesar. You look beautiful. You always look beautiful. Bring that kiss here. Hola, Pastor Cesar. My name is Jonathan. Hola, Jonathan. Hola, Pastor Claudia. Hola, Jonathan. Pastor Cesar, I used to come to your church, but seeing that God has blessed you so many people, I decided to look for a smaller church. I've been attending services for several months now. I'm sorry to, to hear that you, you left, but I'm, I'm glad you, you found another church. Thank you, Pastor Cesar. Just came to greet you and Pastor Claudia. Gracias, Jonathan. Gracias. Nice Gracias, Pastor Cesar. Buenas tardes, Cerrito Comarero. Lunch was lovely. Muchas gracias, Cesar. Anything for you, my love? Pastore, Pastore. Hola. I used to come to your church, uh, but it became so full that I went to a church where, where there were less people. Uh, but my mother, she got healed from cancer at your church. I just would like to say thank you for following the call of God upon your life. Desfruta tu tarde. Gracias. Desfruta al tuyo. Esto es terrible. Lord, thank you that Alejo and Jonathan's lives were not lost. That they found another place. Son, I want you to know that if I brought them to your church, it was so that you would take care of them. But I, I'm only one person. How can I take care of all of them? Pour his life into twelve. Choose twelve people and pour your life into them. Disciple twelve people and teach each one of them to do the same. Arrestate. Nunca podrías conquistarme. Se intenta conmigo. ¿Qué es esto? 
Mis doce. ¿Tus doce? Mis doce discípulos. ¿Discípulos? Jesus put his life into twelve men, and through them he changed the whole world. If we pour our lives into twelve, and they pour their lives into twelve, and that twelve pour their life into another twelve, we will change this country. We will change the world. Un gobierno de doce. This will work. ¿A dónde vas? Escribí mis doce. ¿Estás bien? Sí. La chica está en... ¿Can you turn the, the car off?
it's the same pipe. It's leaving. to get him in search of the Not Lord. Lord, why can't I feel you anymore, Lord? Where are you, Lord? Restore things to the way they were. Restore me, Lord. My son. No, Lord. I haven't forgiven them. Can you forgive them? Father, I forgive those who tried to assassinate me. Forgive those who tried to kill me and my family. I pray that through this situation, you will bless them and they will come to know you. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen.
One year later, in the city of Bogota, a famous journalist experienced the very same thing that I did. He was shot five times in basically the same parts of the body that I was shot. But he was only alive for two minutes, then he died. The word of God gave me life. I've come to realize that God's servants are immortal until they have fulfilled the promise of God upon their life.